Hello and welcome to TechPlot360EX. In this video, I'll explain how TechPlot handles rendering of volume data with surfaces to plot. For this tutorial, I will be using the DuctFlow example, which can be found in the examples folder shipped with the product. In this frame, I have the DuctFlow dataset loaded in. At this point, all we see are these orange dashed lines. These lines represent the bounding boxes of the volume zones that have no style applied. Before we turn on any style, let's first take a look at the Zone Style dialog and go to the Surfaces tab. The heading Surfaces to Plot shows us none for the volume zones. This is default because it means that TechPlot has less data to load in, which means it will take less time. This is generally a good default for external arrow people where they are looking inside their volume, but not necessarily what users want if they are looking at the outside of the volume. Note that by default this would show as NA for any surface zones if they exist. So now let's turn on Contour. To show contours, TechPlot360EX needs to show surface data. Since this data only has volume zones, a question dialog asks to display the surfaces of the volume zones. Turning on surfaces of volume zones can be an expensive operation as it requires loading the entire volume zone and calculating which cells represent the surface. Answering yes will change the surfaces to plot setting for the active volume zones so surface data are displayed. Next, let's take a look at our zone style dialog. Surfaces to plot have changed to boundary cell faces, which allows us to see the contour of the surfaces of the exposed boundary cells. This concludes our Understanding Volume Services video. You can download a free trial of TechPlot on our website, and thank you for watching.